Bradley goes deep to the back post instead. Will Boyle heads it back across. Can Palmer get there? He can. It's just got wide. Did well to get up, but his header just lacked the direction under pressure. Boyle wins the header. I think it could be anyone's. And then because Oli Palmer's going back, it's hard to get that direction to get it down. Malawu takes the ball past Mullin. Striding forward out of the defence. Doncaster centre back. And Mullin in. Left footed cross over O'Connell. It's there. And it's just over the bar. I think Bayamu should have done better then. Yeah, he should have just gone wide. Maybe it's got too quick on him. Well, it's got to do better with that chance. It's the first click of opportunity. Good ball inside to Craig. Now Maxwell. Adelakan up against Bolton again. Onto his right foot, low cross. Max Clue plays. Maxwell. Left foot across, deep this time. Over Will Boyle. It's going to have to bounce. It's Owen Bailey. A deep left foot across. Bailey got a book boy up. And he couldn't have placed that header any more perfectly. Alfred Conco, no chance as it hits the foot of the post. Right on the stroke of half time. Doncaster Rovers lead here. Sterry tries to play the ball to penalty area. It's over O'Connell. In the end, Biggins is facing away from goal. That's an awkward one, it's hit the crossbar. There's a cross in from the right hand side. Sam O'Connor from left foot, it's going to be a tight angle. Everyone on the edge of the penalty area at the moment. O'Connor goes to the back post, Will Boyle's there, heads it, heads it wide. He's mistimed his header, and that was a big, big opportunity for Wrexham. Well, that's a huge chance, isn't it, from Will Boyle? His corner to be delivered, right footed from the left hand side then. Low to the near post. Oli Palm James will play both crowd to meet it. Neither of them get there. Eventually it hits clear up on the line. Or Cannon even on the line, I think. There's somebody on the line for Wrexham. And then eventually it rolls back for Arthur Conquo. Yeah, I think it was Andy Cannon. Maybe that's a slice of luck that Wrexham need. Lee waits for support from McLean. He's going to cross his first time with his left foot. It's deep to the back post. O'Connor gets his head to it. Keeps that ball alive. Played only as far as Barnett. Barnett takes on his right foot, then hits it low, and it's just wide. Did really well to dig a shot out then, Ryan Barnett. Just wide of the near post, an unsighted Timothy Lowe to tell her then. Hit the second attempt and Ryan Barnett just stabs it from just underneath him. Only inches away from his first goal for the club. Doncaster take the free kick short, play to the edge of the box, Adelakens header hits the teammate and then Wood turns. And it's saved by Arthur Conquo. It's an important save, isn't it, from Arthur Conquo? Hit with some real venom. Pretty held firm, catching that one. Couldn't bring that one down. Chance for Doncaster to counter attack on the right hand side. Molyneux just took the sting out of that one, waiting for teammates to join the attack in the penalty areas. Here's Sterry. Helped on round the corner. Biggins. O'Connor was caught out of position for a moment, then Adelak and hits it low, and it's just wide. I think he should have hit the target from there. Yeah, I think Adelakin and Grant McCann will be wondering how it's not 2-0 there. All the space and time in the world. Tom O'Connor, left footed corner, it's low to the near post. Not dealt with comfortably, it's back heel Dennis Paul Mullin. The offside flag goes up, and he didn't need to touch it. He didn't need to touch it. Was that going in anyway then? Oh, I think that's going in. If Mullin hadn't celebrated, I don't think the flag was going up. It's played into the near post. It was Owen O'Connell's back heel. Paul Mullin at the back post helped it in. Was that going in anyway? Into the Doncaster half. Skips onto his right foot. Again, there's not too many options forward for him. Bentoza cross through a pass, looks Fletcher at the back post, Fletcher's going to get there, Fletcher's had a brilliant save, Mullen keeps it alive, corner kick one, fantastic save by Tufilo Tutisala. Superb header from Stephen Fletcher. And that is an incredible save, isn't it? How he's got down to that, brilliant header from Fletcher. Doncaster Rovers held on throughout the second half to their one goal lead, and there is the full-time whistle. Blow for Wrexham.